Peter walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. Matthew chapter 14 verse 29 to 30 The wind really was boisterous and the waves really were high. But Peter did not see them at first. He didn't consider them at all. He simply recognized his Lord, stepped out in recognition of him, and walked on the water. Then he began to take those things around him into account, and instantly down he went. Why could not our Lord have enabled him to walk at the bottom of the waves as well as on top of them? He could have, yet neither could be done without Peter's continuing recognition of the Lord Jesus. We step right out with recognition of God in some things, then self-consideration enters our lives and down we go. If you are truly recognizing your Lord, you have no business being concerned about how and where He engineers your circumstances. The things surrounding you are real, but when you look at them, you are immediately overwhelmed and even unable to recognize Jesus. Then comes his rebuke. Why did you doubt? Let your actual circumstances be what they may but keep recognizing Jesus, maintaining complete reliance upon Him. If you debate for even one second when God has spoken, it is all over for you. Never start to say, well, I wonder if He really did speak to me. Be reckless immediately, totally unrestrained, and willing to risk everything by casting your all upon Him. You do not know when His voice will come to you, but whenever the realization of God comes, even in the faintest way, imaginable. Be determined to recklessly abandon yourself, surrendering everything to Him. It is only through abandonment of yourself and your circumstances that you will recognize Him. You will only recognize His voice more clearly through recklessness, being willing to risk your all.